Hey there. In today's video, I will be talking about electric field lines, how electric field lines are generated by positive and negative charges. I have two charges right here. One is the positive one nanocoulomb and another one is negative one nanocoulomb, okay? When I put this positive charge right here, it's not showing electric field right now. When I click on right here, it shows the electric field. Electric field lines are coming out from this positive charge and going into the negative, see here. So look at this graph, this illustration. Electric field lines are coming out from the positive and going into the negative. So here is the point to be noted, right? Electric field lines always come out from the positive and go into the negative, okay? Now let me measure the intensity of electric field, where electric field is strongest. So let me show the voltage and its value. I have a sensor to measure the direction and the magnitude of electric field. Let me get this sensor. Let me click on it, hold, hold it, and bring it near to this positive charge. If I put it here, you can see the vector indicating the magnitude of the electric field strength, which is 99.6 voltage per meter. Value is written here. And the direction is also showing off right here, okay? When I go further away from this positive charge, direction of the electric field lines or electric field is changing and the value is also changing at the same time. So right here, the electric field is 12.3 voltage per meter, right? It's a significant difference in electric field strength from this point nearby the positive charge. Let me check the electric field strength nearby negative charge. If I put this one right here, nearby somewhere, this negative charge, I'm getting about 127 voltage per meter. And direction is going into, right? If I go away from this negative charge, here is very, 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 very small, right? Value is decreasing. So it means if you go far away from the charge, then electric field strength will be reduced. It will be decreased, right? If you uh, go to near to the charge, electric field strength is going too high. See here, 363, right? Same thing will be true for the positive. You can see the electric field is strength very close vicinity to the positive charge is about 4,397 voltage per meter, right? So in this way, we can, we, we, we know two things, right? Electric field lines are coming out from the positive charge and going into the negative. And electric field strength will be strongest near to the positive or negative charges. And as you move farther away from these positive and negative charges, electric field strength will be reduced. It will be decreased. That's why the electric field strength is inversely proportional to the distance, right? When distance is increased, electric field strength will be decreased. So we can also find the equipotential surfaces. So what is equipotential surface? The surface where potential is equal. When I measure by using this device, what will happen? It will show you the equipotential surface. The equipotential surface nearby this negative charge is negative value. And right here, you can see the positive value. So for example, if the value of the potential right here is, uh, let's say two, 
point something, right? Let me get another two point something. See here, it's almost like equipotential surface is somewhere. It's something like a RAM, right? So I need two point to zero, something like this. So this is a corporential surface. I hope you understand about electric field length, its directions and uh, strength of electric field. And last but not least, electric field lines never intersects with each other. That's what this figure is illustrating you.